Jesus resurrection is it a fact or fiction this is very essential because Christian faith stands on the divine essence of Jesus Christ which is proven by the resurrection Hughes Confill in 1800 proposed that Jesus never died on the cross and it was only a swoon or it was a plot with Judas Therefore, we need to first of all prove that Jesus died on the cross. Here, I would like to follow the argument presented by Robert J. Stein from California University, who was a forensic pathologist. According to him, Jesus, when he was praying in Garden of Gethsemane the previous night, he was going through ex extreme anxiety and stress. Luke describing this event says that blood started oozing out of sweat glands. This happens according to medical science when a person is having hematodrasis that is when he was going through extreme stress. When such a thing is happening even a touch would be very painful. But the next day Jesus Christ was whipped and a human being facing that itself is a great thing. But later Jesus was crucified and it was nailed with three nails and it was a very difficult thing. And usually Jews leaves a, that person on the cross for several days and they remove the body only for one reason if the body has to be there on the cross on Sabbath and you know for Jews Saturday is Sabbath Jesus was crucified on Friday and that Friday evening they want to ensure whether Jesus died or not if Jesus was not dead they would have cut his legs but they saw him dead but to ensure they pierced him on the right side and when the spear was drawn out according to John 19 blood and water oozed out and Robert says this water is nothing but the pericardium fluid which is in pericardium sac in which is our heart and this happens when a person dies in shock according to forensic science therefore the Postmortem report would have said that Jesus died of shock. So that is proved. So Jesus was buried and he rose again on third day. But there are four objections as far as resurrection is concerned. Number one is this. People think that it was a wrong tomb. But for Jesus case, it, it is not possible because Jesus was never buried in a cemetery, but he was buried in a garden where there was only one tomb. The second one was hallucination. Hallucination happens when people were having great expectation, but none of the disciples were expecting that Jesus would raise again. Secondly, no hallucination uh, will be same for two persons. But here in the Bible, we see that over 500 people saw Jesus Christ. So it is not hallucination. The third one is people say that somebody has taken away the body of Jesus Christ, which is again is doubtful because there was a Roman guard around the tomb and they should be taken to task and then that, that never happened. The fourth one was swoon proposed by Hugh J. Scornfield, which says that Jesus only uh, collapsed on the cross, but it is not possible because when they pierced, water and blood came out from the pericardium fluid. So Jesus died and he was buried. And on the third day, he rose again. How do you know that Jesus really raised again? I want to give you three reasons. Reason number one is this. Peter and John went to know whether Jesus truly raised again or not. They found the grave clothes like a cocoon. That will happen only when there was a miraculous uh, resurrection taking place. Number two was this. From the 50th day after resurrection, disciples started declaring to the whole world that Jesus rose again. A false message wouldn't have come up in 50 days. The third one is the changed life of disciples. They were timid, but when they came out, they were very bold and they even were willing to die to explain to the whole world that Jesus Christ rose again and therefore he is God. And the final reason I would give is from my own life. Uh, my life has changed because Jesus rose again and he came into my life. So Jesus rose again and he is God.